Hello friends, Tony here. Now in the previous video we created the count component and in this video I'm going to modify that count component. So here I have run the artisan migrate fresh and now let's register a new user. Navigate the tasks. Okay, good. Now right now here is the tasks count zero. Let's create a new one. Okay, submit. Yeah, just uh, what I want is let's open the form. So I'm going to open the tasks form. And what I want is I'm going to remove this live from the title. Okay. And let's close. Let's refresh. Okay. Now uh, what I want is if I open also the uh, table plus and as you can see in the tasks we have added the status column and also if I open the status enum status type here yeah, we have three cases started in progress and done and what I want to do is I'm going to group the tasks of this user by status and for each status I'm going to show the count so for example tasks with uh, started uh, status I'm going to show the count for that status and the same for the in progress and done okay so let's close this and let's open the tasks list class here we get the count and we say out user tasks count and also let's open the tasks list blade and here we inject the tasks count and we pass the count here but what I want as I said I'm going to change that so instead of the count I'm going to say uh, let's say something like tasks by count maybe tasks by uh, not by count but by status sorry so tasks by status and here I'm going to say out user tasks not count anymore but I'm going to use the select and I'm going to select the status okay and then I'm going to use the db row and I want now the count always as count with a say or status count or just count I'm going to say count like this and then I'm going to group by a status not like this just group by status and let's say get now okay let's save now here we have the tasks by status I'm going to copy this and go to task lists and here now we're going to pass that instead of something like this we can use the short way by saying tasks by status like this okay now we need to open the tasks count uh, class first so tasks count and we need to say not count here but tasks by status and it's going to be reactive okay also open the blade of count component so tasks count and here instead of something like this I'm going to just display for now the tasks by status and let's save let's see on the browser now if I refresh yeah we have a syntax I think I have make a mistake get group by status okay let's open that so the tasks list oh yeah here we don't need that save and now let's come here and refresh okay as you can see we have an array with an object and we have status started and the count which is one now this uh, is this task has the status started and we show the count for this stat started uh, status to be one now if I create another one and yeah we have down here let's say submit 
now we have status done count one okay good just uh, instead of something like this i'm going to modify now the blade here so i'm go i have prepared the code so i'm going to select all and paste that one okay so here we have a div with some classes another div also with some classes and i make a for each tasks by status as a status and then another div and a span and here i display the status count which means if i go to task list the count here so we say dbra count all as count and uh, then here I have displayed the status value. Now the status status here, this is the column status which return the in-app. Because if I open the uh, not status but tasks, sorry, task uh, model, we have protected cast and we set the status to be a status type in-app. Okay. For that it's going to display it's going to say this is going to be a enum and I get the value and I say as headline just to display better in our project and now as we can see we have count one started displaying like this and down like this good let's uh, create one more I'm going to refresh and again started as you can see submit yeah we need to add more submit here yeah now we have started with and the count is two and the done is one refresh and let's create one more with in progress submit and yeah now we have this which is in progress but uh, we don't have the order to be so started then in progress and then done so let's go to task lists and here i'm going to say order by and I'm going to order by status not ascending I want descending like this and refresh now we have started in progress and done good let's just create some more so I'm going to say this to be in progress one more progress yeah we need to add something like this and a refresh okay now it's looking a li little bit good but uh, i want to add some uh, classes some colors here for example for started let's say to be uh, blue for in progress to be yellow and don't to be uh, don't to be green I'm going to add here a border for all of them but to apply that I want to open the enum so the status enum status type enum and here what I want to do is to create a method so public function and I'm going to name it a color and this is going to return a string okay and here I'm going to use the return match this okay now if for self started let's say uh, border blue as I said 400 or 500 like this then for self not completed we don't have completed but in progress I'm going to add border yellow 500 and then for the self done I'm going to add border green 500 like this and I think we are okay so just let's close this let's save and then open the task count blade here I'm going to cut this and I'm going to use the class helper of our blade which we have so class and here we need to add an array the first one is going to be the default colors and uh, then I'm going to add dollar sign status and then for the status I'm going to get the status not the value but color 
So start called color method here. And this is going to be if we have the status like this. Now if I save, I have here border 2 and then just I'm going to apply the border, uh, for example, if the status is, let's op open again this one, if the status is started it's going to be border blue 500, in progress border blue, blue border yellow 500 and in done border green uh, 500, okay? So that is going to return here, it's going to apply here, and let's see now. Let's open, yeah, I'm going to close and re re run the npm run dev, just in case. Let's open the application, I'm going to clear site data. Let's go to register one more time and use fake filler here. Register, okay. We got the tasks. Yeah, we show this, but anyway, now let's create. Okay, so we have the first one which is done. Good. Let's create one one starter submit. And yeah, we have starter here and the uh, uh, border is okay. Let's create one with in progress. Good. Now we have the started here in progress and done. And let's create one more, for example, in progress. And just we need to add more here. And yeah, we have two in progress, one started and one done. Okay, friends, that's it all about uh, this video. Now we, I think we have more. Uh, professional looking uh, project okay friends now if you like such a video don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best